Yeah, my name is Javier. I'm working at Microsoft. I'm part of the .NET MAUI team. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about .NET MAUI, but mostly I'm going to talk about a new uh, graphics library already available in the latest uh, .NET MAUI previews. And also an experimental library that uh, will allow you to create drone control. So let's start doing a very quick summary about uh, Donet Maui. Uh, probably many of you know about it. We already have great sessions about Donet Maui in the Donet Conf, but uh, yeah, Donet Maui is a cross platform uh, framework to create applications for desktop and for mobile. In the case of mobile, you can create application for iOS and Android using uh, .NET for uh, iOS and .NET for Android. And in the case of desktop, you can create application for uh, Windows using WingUI 3 in this case, and also for Mac using uh, Mac Catalyst. So, there are several improvements and changes related with uh, Donet Maui with respect to what we have in Xamarin Forms. But this framework is an evolution of Xamarin Forms. And that means like uh, Donet Maui offers an abstraction layer to allow to create the, the application with a single code base, sharing uh, the code between all the platforms. But uh, all the abstraction is baked by a native control. So we pass from an abstracted button to an, for example, UI button in iOS and a button in Android and in the same way in the rest of the platforms. This continue in the same way by default in .NET MAUI. But also we offer some chains in the project using a single heated project, a unique project to manage all the code of all the platform using a CTK style project. We gain the Command line support, of course, uh, we support different paradigms to create and build the UI of your application using Shamel or using uh, C -Shar. And yeah, um, as an evolution of, uh, of Xamarin Forms, we expect many developers to use moving their code from Xamarin Forms to .NET MAUI. So we are also working in a smooth transition from Xamarin Forms to uh, .NET MAUI. So, the system Xamarin Forms app support will be two years from the .NET MAUI release that I remember that will be on Q2 of next year and will be some tooling to do the migration process and all this stuff. So, this is a quick, very quick summary of .NET MAUI. But today in this session, I want to um, talk more longer about drone controls. So, first of all, why I'm giving this talk and from where comes all these ideas and all these uh, libraries. So it's from feedback that we already received from all the developers and from the community. This feedback that we receive is something like this. Um, more and more, more developers want a consistent way to create applications with the same look and feel and the same behavior between platforms. Now, if you create a .NET MAUI application, the look and feel, as we said before, will fall back in native control. So by default, for example, the button will have this appearance. So it will be, of course, uh, different between Android and iOS because the appearance will be the native appearance of the native button in every platform. Of course, you can uh, work with styles and styling your applications to achieve the same or a similar look and feel with uh, changing the background, color radius, colors, uh, etc. But in some case, that uh, will require native code, uh, use the mappers, or use a custom handler to achieve uh, this uh, consistency. So. People want consistent look and feel, and also want a easy way to extend and customize. And yeah, we improve it the custom renderer architecture to the new handler architecture that will be easier, will require less code to extend and customize, but still we are working with native controls in every platform. So if you want to achieve something 
in all the platforms you will require to write code in, in every of the platforms where you want to, to release your application. So again, improve and offer a easy way to stand and customize. And in Xamarin Forms, that uh, is uh, the previous framework is uh, where we come from .NET MAUI, we offer a library called it, uh, Visual. Was used a library offering uh, a subset of the controls using the material design library from Google in Android and iOS. And that was great because allow you to create um, controls with the same look and feel in different platforms, in this case, Android and iOS. But in some times when people want to customize and extend, this is still a rigid uh, way with its prescriptive design that uh, don't fit too much to some of the customer's design. So with all that in mind, already now available, you can find in .NET MAUI, uh, Microsoft MAUI graphics. What's this? It, this is a cross-platform graphics library available for all the MAUI supported platforms and even some more that is totally uh, brightened in c -sharp and offers an abstraction drawing API that uh, will fall back in uh, different implementations in every native platforms. In the platforms, you will allow to use uh, different implementations. For example, in the case of iOS and Android, you can use Core Graphics or Android Graphics, but of course, you can also use Kia Sharp. Kia Sharp is possible to use mostly in all the platforms, and the same happens in different platforms. For example, in the case of Windows with WingUI, you can use uh, Win2D or Kia Sharp. Even there is an implementation with uh, Sharp EX, so there are different implementations. Let's see a quick demo about this. So this is the library, the, the Microsoft MAUI graphics implementation. It offers uh, several methods to draw with, um, you know, um, different uh, basic shapes, uh, tests, uh, also different effects like shadows, also have several methods to do more complex options like clipping or some transformations in the drawing stuff. So let's take a look to some demos of this library. Uh, you can derive from basic shapes like rectangles, ellipses, arcs, or more complex paths to, of course, you can draw tests in different positioning with different effects and uh, options. And I think that probably um, I can showcase also some uh, fill options. Of course, you can fill also all the drawing stuff with different colors, gradients, uh, several options, uh, play with different effects like shadows, etc. This is already available in uh, Donet Maui. Uh, by the way, the basic types related with uh, drawing in .NET MAUI are from this library, are available in Microsoft.maui.graphics. I'm talking about types like point, like color, rectangle, or these types use uh, this library. And several APIs from .NET MAUI also use these, um, these APIs. For example, when you are drawing shapes in .NET MAUI or gradients, all this stuff is using this library. So this is really cool. This is really nice. Available today with the .NET MAUI previews. There is also a new control in .NET MAUI called Graphics View. This control is like um, probably if you worked before with Skia Sharp, could remind you to the SK Canvas View. It's mostly the same concept. Allow you to create a Canvas where you are able to draw anything and expose also options like the touch events to allow you to also manipulate stuff that you are drawing and all these kind of things. So it's great, available today. And with this in mind, we play it and uh, work it in different ideas. And one of these ideas is, okay, Donet Mao is an evolution of Xamarin Forms. The path that follow .NET MAUI is the same that um, Xamarin Forms did. 
So again, all the abstractions are uh, mapped to a native control. But what if we use the previous library, the Microsoft Maui graphics library, to not uh, fall back in a native control, and in this case, just create one canvas where draw everything. So this is this library. Microsoft Maui graphics control is uh, another library exposing a subset of uh, the controls, but instead of uh, creating a native control, is drawing all the controls. Or everything related with the control is being uh, drawn. So this is this library. It's uh, allowing to choose between Cupertino, Fluent, and Material Design. And for now, this library is available as um, a .NET 6 library. And it's available via Nugget Package. There is a nightly feed where you can use uh, get it and play it and already use it with .NET MAUI today with the previews. But for the .NET MAUI release in the Q2 of next year, we'll continue in the same way. This is still a .NET experiment. It's an experimental library. And we are mostly sharing it with the community, with developers, getting feedback, trying to improve and try to fit it. And if uh, this is part in the future of .NET MAUI will be more with .NET 7 than with .NET 6. In .NET 6 will still be a separate library, a experiment library. You already are able to use it uh, in .NET 6, but uh, it's not part of the .NET MAUI core. So what controls are available today? So today we are offering all the controls that you can use in Xamarin Forms Visual. So you can use the activity indicator, button, check post, type picker, etc. All the controls that you can see in the screen. But instead of only using material design like uh, we had in Xamarin Forms, you can choose and change uh, between Cupertino, Fluent, and material design. About features, it's uh, a different concept. In fact, it's a totally approach, different approach from the uh, default approach uh, in .NET MAUI. Uh, instead of native controls, we are drawing everything. But uh, we take a lot of care about uh, cover all the features that we already have in the native control. So of course, there is support for phone and desktop platforms. There is support for uh, themes for, for chain between the dark and the light theme. If the user chain in the in the system between these themes, the controls directly respond to, to this kind of uh, chains. And of course, for RTL, right to left and left to right uh, reading, it's also really, really important. And all these controls are adapted to work in that way. But are a pixel perfect drone staff uh, offering the same rendering and the same behavior in all the supported platforms by uh, .NET MAUI. So if we share some screenshots in the first uh, option, you can see the different visual states between, for example, enable and disable. And in the second one, you can see how um, a MAUI application respond to uh, them change and all the drone controls respond also to all these uh, them chains. Uh, all these screenshots or more uh, are more GIFs uh, are taken from .NET MAUI applications, but all this stuff is drawn. Everything that you can see in these screenshots, it's drawn. There is no native controls in this case. And here you can see the left to right or right, uh, right to left options. And the last one is uh, you showing how to run the same application in a desktop uh, platform, in this case, in, in Mac. If we launch different options. Uh, as I said before, we are trying to offer different design patterns, these uh, options like Cupertino, Fluent, mate and Material Designs. Here you can see the same application running in Android, uh, sorry, iOS, Android, and Windows. And the same, it's in this side. But uh, while here we are using Material Design, here we are using Fluent Design. So now if we compare, for example, the slider are totally different. The steeper, it's absolutely different between uh, material and fluent design. So in every case, all the UI is adapted uh, to uh, every uh, option available in design. But 
we have exactly the same rendering and the same behavior in all the platforms. So that's that's the idea and that's the goal. But I'm sure that probably you are excited about this, but it's always better to see some demos. So yay, demo time. So let's start in Mac. Uh, I'm using Visual Studio uh, 2022. In this case, uh, we have here a .NET MAUI sample, and we have here the library, the uh, .NET MAUI graphics control library. It's a .NET Sys library uh, using multi-targeting to offer the same library for uh, all the platforms. And we can see now a quick demo about uh, graphics control. In this case, uh, there are several ways to choose if you want to use Cupertino material or Fluent by application level or different kind of levels in your application. But by application level in the MAUI program that as probably many of you know, it's the entry point of your application. It's where we create the .NET MAUI application. We create also the App Builder, where you can use register your different services, your different, for example, um, handlers, etc. There is an option to configure the, the drone controls with several parameters. By default, you can use not to do anything, and by default, you will use material design. That's the default option that will be used if you don't specify anything. But of course, you can set, for example, to use Fluent at application level. So in that way, if you launch an application, this case is a Mac application, and you run the application, uh, in this case, you can see that the date picker, entries, slider, progress bar, switch, uh, a steeper, et cetera, is using the Fluent design. Now, if we move, for example, to Windows, and oh sorry all that uh, if we would add to windows and we are using also visual studio 2022 with the same project we can see and launch the same application in this case in android but in this case we are using the same all the controls all the ui that you can see here it's drawn but in this case, we are using material design. So the button have the ripple effect. We have the check post. We can use the, the date picker. We can use the editor with the different native experience that you can expect, animations, etc. The same with the with the entry mm -hmm. and also the all the configuration option of the control show or not the clear button, etc. You have the progress bar, slider, the steeper also with the ripple effect, switch, and finally the, the time picker. So this is all the controls that are available today. And um, at the same level, you can use the same controls with Cupertino, uh, Fluent, or Material. Now, let's take some minutes to take a look to the code of the library. So it's a .NET 6 library with the implementation of the controls in every case. For example, let's take a look to the slider that this is a simple one. And if we open this option, we have a user handler, but in this case, it's a graphics handler. It's a new type of handler. We, we are able to define this use one time and we are ma mapping between uh, use the, the, the control, the interface of the control that we are going to use. The interesting thing about that is we can also, uh, of course, define a mapper to decide what are we going to do when any of the properties of the control change. For example, what will happen if the value, the sub color, or the maximum track color change. In this case, we are doing exactly the same. That is using validate the control. But all these drone controls are using a layer concept. So are split in different layers. So in this case, we are defining different files to decide how to draw the background, how to draw, in this case, the track and the zoom in material. And the same happens, for example, for Cupertino or for Fluent. What is happening here is like, for example, for uh, the track, we are just drawing around rectangle. For the zoom, in this case, we are drawing uh, 
uh, Analypse, so everything is drawn in a canvas where we are just defining how uh, to create the appearance and define the, the look and feel of our controls. Um, let's continue a little bit with the presentation. And we are going back to more demos uh, soon. So let's continue a little bit. Let's talk about how to create drone controls or how to customize existing drone controls. So as I said before, all drone controls are created by layers. It's possible to access each layer and, of course, override how to draw in this layer. In addition, we can just remove a layer if we don't want it or adding new layers on top or behind 16 layers. As in .NET MAUI, we have the uh, concept of handlers and draw mapper. In this case, it's mostly the same as the mapper concept, but instead of map between properties of the abstraction to uh, a method. In this case, we are mapping from uh, layers to a method where we are going to draw this layer. So extend a control is really easy. The only thing that probably the easier way to extend something is uh, override the control that you want to um, override, in this case, the slider, and override the draw method. And in this case, draw your own content uh, on top or behind of the existing content of the method. But of course, you can also access to uh, any specific layer and override what will you draw in this layer. For example, in this sample, we are accessing to the uh, zoom layer of the slider to override how to draw this layer. But of course, we can override all the parts of the controls. Let's see a quick demo about this. I'm going to move again to Windows, and I'm going to close all the stuff that we have opened before, and let's see before a demo. So draw a custom slider. In this case, it's the um, same slider, the same material slider, but we are drawing here just uh, a value with the uh, current value of the slider. This is pretty simple to do. So I'm going to move to the sample. It's a .NET MAUI sample. And here in controls, we can see a folder called uh, custom slider. And uh, we can just do the following. We create a, a slider and we have a override the draw method. And when we are drawing, we just draw here on a string with the value of the slider. This is probably the simplest scenario, but we have more complex case like this totally custom slider where the only thing that I'm doing is, well, we can use, of course, access to a specific layer and overwrite this layer, or we can use overwrite all the layers, draw the background, draw the zoom, etc. In this case, in the zoom, for example, we are drawing a shape and we are also drawing some shadows here in the bottom and in the top. So you can do whatever you want in this case in, in, in the slider. And then you can create um, custom controls. So let's see how to create custom controls. Uh, we have also in the sample here this Fluent Persona control. It's an existing control uh, available in the Fluent uh, library. Or you can see here this uh, color picker. So let's see how we are. We can create this control. The color picker it's really easy. You can use the graphics view uh, control. The graphics view expose a draw method where you can use uh, draw whatever you want to draw. In this case, we draw the the background that is a gradient and the point uh, that will allow the user to choose and pick a color and then also suppose methods like related with touching when you are uh, touching down up uh, or moving around uh, the, the view etc there are more logic exposed to get information about if you are using uh, your fingers or if you are using for example the pointer of the mouse etc so there are different kind of information to um, manage interactions with uh, the UI of your drone controls. And in the case of the persona control, uh, we created here some properties. 
uh, bind double properties to customize how to uh, draw the control, etc. But at the end, we have a draw method where we are just drawing the different parts, the different layers of uh, our control. And that's fine because we allow any other developer to use, use our controls and uh, overwrite, for example, how to draw the background. And instead of use uh, a circle, use, for example, any specific shape, rectangle, or whatever they want, just maintaining the, the rest of the logic and the rest of the option of uh, the control. So that's fine. That's great. And it's, it's another option. So. That's are the different options to customize and to extend existing controls. Of course, I'm uh, showing uh, different options with uh, feature code, but we are also uh, we have also the option to draw the UI using Shamil. And in fact, I'm going to showcase very quickly how we can do that. Here is, for example, the previous sample. I mean, this sample. Oops, this sample where we have all the all the controls, all the options, and we are just creating the different controls in this way, new button with the properties, etc. But of course, we can also use shamel code, and the UI in this case looks like this. Uh, these are the check posts, state picker, etc. The only thing that uh, we did before is register the drone controls to uh, notify the non-net MAUI application that we are going to use the drone options instead of the uh, native one. Of course, you can choose if to do that at application level or if to do that, for example, a mix between um, uh, native controls and drone controls in the same page, etc. There are different and several options to play with, uh, with all this. So what about stand the controls in Shamel? Well, we are still working on it. We have a different approach and ideas about, for example, create a way to customize and override the layers of the controls also in Shamel. But of course, we have the control template concept that probably many of you know from Shamel Informs or from other Microsoft frameworks like WPF or WinUI, etc. So these are the options that we are managing to. Uh, override and customize all the options in C -sharp and also in Shamel. So I'm going to the end uh, with a quick summary. So this is an experimental library already available in .NET 6, and you can use it uh, today using the nightly feed with uh, latest .NET MAUI preview. And it's a, a library that offers drone controls instead of use native controls. Everything is drawn and allows you to choose between Cupertino, Fluent, and Material Design. And already implemented all the controls that was available in Visual in Shaman Informs with uh, theme support, RTL support, and accessibility support. Accessibility support for now is only for screen readers. But of course, um, we want to support all the options uh, related with accessibility. That is, of course, one of the important topics and important uh, functionality that we need to cover in an UI framework. And about the future, well, at the moment, we are sharing this with the community, with developers, with third parties, getting feedback, and could be part of the .NET MAUI core in the future. If that happens, we'll be in .NET 7. In .NET 6, what you can do is use the current available Nugget package that you can get from uh, the URL that you can see in the screen. You just use that feed, and you can get access to the library. So I don't know if we have any questions so far. I think that uh, there is no questions. And also, probably, I don't have so much time. <laughs> so <laughs> Thank you. That was so much information, Javier. Thank you so much for sharing. There were no questions. You explained everything so well. And uh, yeah, good use of your time. So thank you very much. And enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, that's it for you. Good luck with the rest of the sessions. Thank you. Bye. Bye.